diamond, diamond, diamond. Uh... 83-year-old Rosemary Bartel is trying to relax among friends, but she is worried, personally hit hard by the nation's financial crisis. I'm going to be in deep trouble, money-wise. Rosemary must now cut down on groceries and fuel to barely get by, as the value of her small IRA has fallen like Wall Street. I guess it's better if I don't live so long. <laughs> Seniors around the country are being forced to make the same painful choices. As investment incomes dry up, more and more struggle to buy necessities, food, medicine, and heating oil. This is taking a huge toll on the lives of older people probably more than any other segment in our population. According to AARP, only 20% of American workers qualify for a guaranteed pension. Seniors living on investment income don't have the luxury of riding out the downturn. For many older Americans, the current financial crisis is the last straw, convincing many who thought of retiring to keep working and forcing others who already retired to go back to work. 73-year-old Michael Diacuti returned to work, this time as a bus driver. He actually has a post office pension, but even with that, he struggles. They fundamentally agree. At financial planning offices, though, many older clients say, while frightened, they still have faith in a recovery. They still believe that the U.S. is, is capable of getting us through this. Edie Stark also believes that. But with her retirement portfolio down 30%, she's worried a lifetime of saving now won't pay the bills. Mark Potter, NBC News, Miami.